it's really weird being back home and not having anything here. I'm way too excited for this right now. Tell me this is not the best thing ever. <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> Might be going red. Oh, wow. Miss Charlotte is getting her ears pierced. Oh my goodness. Hello, good morning. It is Tuesday and I'm coming at you from Australia. I'm so excited to be here. It's day one being back home with my family. I'm staying at my dad's house in Birkdale. If you don't know, it's just outside of Brisbane. It's right along the water. It's stunning. It's gonna be a crazy, crazy week. We've got so much going on. We meaning me. I've got so much going on. My dad's done up this place a little bit more. So I don't know if you guys remember, but this used to be in the far end room. That used to be my office room. My room now is actually being rented out by someone and then I'm using one of the two spare rooms the old office room is another spare room it's Tuesday today Friday I'm going to Cairns for four days to see Cass and all my little babies so Cass has actually had her second not too long ago and it just feels so weird that I literally have a best friend who's had a kid and I don't know who this kid is and I've never met him like it's just so weird to me so I'm so excited to see them I'm gonna try and vlog each week that I'm here in Australia just to look back on with mems and also to share with you guys so super excited to get into it I am going to unpack all my stuff because I cannot deal with living out of a suitcase for three weeks and then we're gonna chill I got some errands to run I gotta go pick up a car which I don't have I don't have a car here anymore it's really weird being back home and not having anything here my mum is gonna go drop me off to pick up my car and then I need to run to the shops grab a few things I might check in with you guys later today because coming on those errands is not gonna be fun I saw these on the internet the other day and I had to get them. If you don't know, my family is a huge AFL fan. AFL being Australian Football League. My dad played professionally for the Brisbane Bears. My brother plays still to this day and has since he was little. I played for Queensland for my state and competed at nationals like three years in a row. So we're a big AFL team, like we're talking big. I, and this is not sponsored in any way, shape or form, but I found these hoodies. <laughs> this one's mine. I go for the cats, the Geelong cats. <laughs> Wait until you see this. I bought one for me, one for Steve, one for my brother, one for my dad. <laughs> Holy <laughs> oh, this looks so funky. Guys, tell me this is not the best thing ever. Up the cat is. <laughs> I'm gonna die, I love this so much. And they go in this little footy bag. Okay, I need to figure out how to do this because I need to put the boys together. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's actually like this. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. I'm way too excited for this right now. Both Steve and my dad are Carlton fans. I know, don't judge them, I still love them. So I had to get them matching ones. How is it that my husband and my dad are both Carlton fans? And for different reasons. I actually don't know why my dad is a Carlton fan, but Steve's a Carlton fan because when he came to Australia with Optimum Nutrition, the first time he came, they went and actually trained with the Carlton team. Okay, so that's dad's. I need to keep these separate because I was gonna give the wrong team to the wrong person. That's not fun. Steve doesn't even know this is coming. Actually, he might if he watches this video. And if he watches this video, then good on him. Because you guys know, I said it before, Steve doesn't watch YouTube. Not even my stuff. My dad is going to wear it. Like, he's going to probably laugh. Be like, oh, I would never wear that. And then he will wear it every day. He heard it here first. Oh. She's a bit lopsided, love. Last but not least, my brother is a feral Collingwood fan. Some serious bad vibes. It's a one size fits all too. Like my Udi, Dad's Udi, Jay's Udi, Steve's Udi is all the one size. There we go. 
Dun, 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 dun. And then this, holy moly. I just doing like an unboxing for the first day of this vlog. So, because I'm gonna be in Australia the whole of this month, I got my My Protein order sent here, which I think makes sense. I can't technically take things back, so my dad is very happily going to take this stuff when I'm gone, but protein shaker, impact whey protein vanilla, impact whey protein chocolate, holy moly, did not know this was this much, oats, quick oats, unflavored, baked cookies, I don't know why, but I couldn't order these in the US, so when I saw them on the Australian website, I was like, done. Um, clear whey isolate, raspberry lemonade flavor. Still, again, another thing that we don't have in the US. Tropical dragon fruit, we love this one. We got these. These are the vegan protein waters. Really excited to taste it. Don't have that in the US. Creatine, protein mug cake, and then BCAAs, and also peanut butter powder for smoothies. There's a lot going on in there. When dad gets here, I'll, re I'll show you guys when I give him his Udi and also show him the protein stuff that we've got because he is running out. I literally checked on his stock levels of his protein stuff because he doesn't know what to get. I left him a whole heap of stuff when I moved and they're low. We're talking like one type of protein, like a really weird flavor protein that I think he's just gotten from Coles or Woolies and that's it. I need to go do my errands. <laughs> so I will see you guys this afternoon. I have something for you. <laughs> what is Open it, it up. <laughs> Don't tell me it's a onesie. <laughs> is that a onesie? <laughs> oh my god, is that a onesie? <laughs> I got you and Steve matching and I got Jay a Collingwood one and me a oh. Geelong cat. <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> tell me you are not gonna live in that thing. What is this? <laughs> Never have I seen. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. You're welcome. It'll probably never get a run. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's wet in the cold mornings. You can whip it out. Alright, throw it in the cupboard. <laughs> oh, I knew you'd love it. Oh, God. It doesn't even get cold here, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Bring it in September. You'll need it. I will. You're welcome. Yes. Nice. And then, <laughs> and then these. This is the protein that I ordered. There's a lot in there. Impact whey protein, vanilla, and chocolate. I got the quick oats. I didn't realize how many oats they sent. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> We've got some errands to run, so we are getting at it. We went to fit stop this morning. I was so sick. I genuinely did one round and sat out for the rest of the class. I was going to vomit. Hey! Go. Good. Okay, ready? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it a one? Have you? Have you <laughs> it's oh, so cool. Come on. Yeah, I'll wear it around the apartment. It's not meant to be yeah, seen yeah. outside of the apartment or your yeah, house, Brendan. Don't. don't waste my money. <laughs> Where did you get it's actually so there? comfy. It's from Udi. <laughs> I went to buy one the first time I saw it and it was sold out. It, You know what was sold out? Yeah, it was Geelong and Collingwood. Good. Geelong and Collingwood were both sold out. Carton had it's plenty. Nice isn't it? That's pretty nice. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't be the best after a winter surf. That'd be good, driving home in that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wear mine after my winter swim. Thank you. When I go to go. <laughs> Send it. Yeah. Last one. <laughs> Do that over the mountain. Actually, don't, because I don't want you to hurt yourself. Multiple times then. I get good air off that last one. <laughs> Hello. <laughs>
Might be going red. Hey, I've just landed in Cairns. I'm waiting for Cass to come pick me up just at the drop off spot. She's literally done like five rounds already because you can't stay long. So they have to make you go round, but just waiting. All right, we are home. gonna get this because it's about you so I was like I'm gonna get it for her. I love you. Oh you're the best. I got a book for you and Connor. Aren't you Morgan spoiling us honey? Yeah don't you help me open it? Yeah. You wanna open it? Yeah. 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 That's still in your jammies. Yeah we didn't get that far. Connor tapped out. Oh it's sleeping. It's for Connor. Yeah. Do you give it to him when he wakes up from any walking? Can you hold on to him for it? Oh. I got 18 to 24 because I was like, he needs to grow into it. I'm like, I don't know what size he is. Look, Sean, is this so cute? Yeah, how's that? Is it good for you? Nah. Look at this. Look at me. Nah. This? It might be me. Showing it to me for the first time. I'm coming! I love this room! It's got a light and a drawer. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And the prettiest view. That when I'm sleeping in bed. Yeah. Kenna, you are my bed. <laughs> oh wow! Hi. <laughs> no, those little chuggy legs. <gasps> oh, it's a cute little laugh. <laughs> what are you doing, Mum? The camera's on. I'm not laughing no, for you anymore. Never. Never. <laughs> Oh, I'm just holding it up and trying to film you and Uncle Steve talking. 
Yeah. Because you look so pretty. <laughs> Duh. Hey, you can talk ah. there. Hello. Hey. Hello, Morgan. Hey, <laughs> hello, Morgan. You gotta go here so you can see it. Because look, it's only looking at your ears. If you stand in front of this, see this? This is where the camera is. And this is where it shows you what it looks like. I go step up fast. From in Valley, from you. Baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Shake it up, shake, shake it, it up. up. Woo! Three, two, one, go! On the fucking jumping castle, you do. Oh. <laughs> Saturday afternoon we really have not done much at all it's been such a beautiful day um, I didn't really film too much today and to be fair I don't even know how much this vlogs gonna be decked out but I'm trying my best to vlog and also be here and enjoy the moment because obviously it's been a while since I've seen my friends and my family so I'm trying to flirt with that fine line of too much and not enough so this morning we just chilled with the babies and then Cass and I went to the shops and I got some thongs Javianas because I can find them anywhere in America literally nowhere and all I wanted was just a plain pair of Javianas and then I also got this super super cute skirt it was from surf dive and ski but this skirt is from Roxy and it's a large and it fits me perfectly fine and it made me think like, I'm not your standard large. Like I know that. So it's weird how so many brands have such off sizing. Like I don't care that I was the large. I actually was chuffed because it was on sale. And I was like, shit, is this gonna fit me? And when I tried it on, it was like the perfect fit. Like I couldn't have gone to a medium. It wouldn't have fit me. But then here I am thinking about girls who are your average large. And I'm like, what the freak? Like that's screwed up for them because it's like no large should be that small. It's just a weird concept that every brand has such different sizes and like versions of a large or versions of a small or versions of a whatever. So anyway, yeah, we went shopping and then Cass and I went to Noah, which is a place that we absolutely love in town here. It's so yummy. And we had lunch. I had a pork belly salad and Cass had a wok style noodle. And then we... <laughs> came home and pretended we were drunk. We had one cocktail at lunch, but we were in the car and we're like, we're gonna pretend to be drunk because we'll see Jake's reaction. And he was chuffed, like it was kind of sad because he was like, Cass really needs to just have a time like this. And we're like, well, all good because she's not drunk right now, but <laughs> whatever. And then now we've just been chilling at home. The babies have been fed. One's having a nap. The other one's watching some TV. I'm just sitting up here. I just had a shower. It's 4.40, it's 4.40 and I just had my shower for the night. So literally gonna be sundown in about an hour and 20 minutes. But this is my view, like, and if you guys have been around for a while, you would have seen this view multiple times. I lived up here in Cairns in 2019 for three or four months. I met Steve in January and we ended up hanging out in June. And between those dates, I lived up here and it was like the best four months of my life prior to meeting Steve, obviously, because I was with my two best friends, like two of my best friends. Cass was pregnant with her first baby and it was just like, the time of our lives like it was so good but anyway this is my room this is called the morgan room and i come and stay here like every other trip if i am in brisbane every like second month or so i'll come up to cairns and visit them I think i've been here probably like 10 12, 10 times something like that anyway i'll show you this view because it's amazing so this is my view <laughs> the ocean is out there this is the whole of cairns 
city is down there, like the CBD area. And then you've got out the mountain ranges area here. But it's stunning and the sun comes up right in the corner there every morning, like right here. And right now, which you guys would have also seen yesterday, the fair is going on. And so they have fireworks every night. So I'll try and film. I don't think we'll be able to see it because the camera I just don't feel is that good. But there's fireworks that is in the city area that I showed you just then. And I was literally in bed last night at like 9 p.m. And I heard pop, pop, pop. And I'm like, what the heck? And I look out and it's literally just like this crazy array of fireworks right in front of us. But it's crazy how small they were. Like they were so close to the ground. I'm sure they just looked incredible in the sky where they were. But because we're up higher and we're looking down at it, it's just such a different view, but it was so cool. We bought some chocolate melt to have some strawberries in melted chocolate. I think tomorrow we're gonna go to Palm Cove or something. Do something fun. I feel like I don't really, because I'm here right now in Australia, seeing people, like that's my plan for this trip. I'm not actually doing things that I would usually do here. Like I'm not really training, haven't trained. I tried to train. The first morning I was here, nearly vomited and passed out so gave up on that but I haven't trained since I feel so lazy <sighs> it's actually that's actually really pissing me off I might go train tomorrow or at least do something maybe do Pilates class tomorrow so yeah we haven't really been doing anything outdoorsy either which is not normal because we're just kind of spending time with each other so anyway I'm gonna clock out for today I know I said that there wasn't really much content that I filmed for today, so that's my bad. I'm gonna clock out. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully there's a little bit more on the schedule tomorrow that you guys can see, because today was very relaxed, very calm, which was very much needed, but it's boring. And it's probably not the best to share with you guys for the weekly vlog, because you're probably sitting there just going, what is she doing now? Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for sticking around anyway. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Beep, beep, excuse me. Hello. What's your name, Mrs. Driver? Miss Charlotte is getting her ears pierced. Hey, are you really excited? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What color would you like to get? Uh, red. You got pink or purple? There's no red, darling. Purple. You want purple? Yeah. We're getting purple. Are you sure? Yeah. We want to make sure that everything is nice and even on both sides. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to put this up to your ear just like that, okay? And then what we're going to tell you to do is one big breath in. <gasps> and one big breath out. Ready? Big breath in. And big breath out. Perfect. So done. In about two seconds. And can you see a little jar behind me that might have maybe some lollipops in it? Yeah, so I've got some lollipops here over there, and you can grab some out if you like. You're okay? You want mum. Mum can come and sit next to you. That's it. Mummy can hold your hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you want mummy to hold your hand behind you? What if I hold your hand here? Yeah. Okay. And when you're ready. I love it. Love.